eddy currents. When current is induced in a conductor, such as a piece of metal, the induced current often flows in small circles that are strongest at the surface and penetrate a short distance into the material. These current flow patterns are thought to resemble eddies in a stream, which are the tornado-looking swirls of the water that we sometimes see. This effect was discovered by physicist Leon Foucault, 1819-1868, because of this presumed resemblance, the electrical currents were named eddy currents. Just like in our transformer experiment, these induced eddy currents generate their own magnetic field. After all, this is an actual electrical current and any current flowing in a conductor produces a magnetic field. The detection and measurements of the strength of the magnetic fields produced by the eddy currents makes it possible for us to learn things about conductive materials without even contacting them. Some more advantages. 1. Certain galvanometer have a fixed core made of non-magnetic material. When the coil oscillates, the eddy currents generated in core oppose the motion and bring the coil to rest quickly. Two, induction furnace can be used to produce high temperature that can be utilized to prepare alloys by melting the constituent metals. A high frequency alternating current is passed through a coil which surrounds the metal to be melted. The eddy currents generated in the metals produce high temperature sufficiently to melt it.